Okay, the last one I'm going to do is what I would definitely call a hard binomial expansion, even with the pattern. So try to follow along, pause it if you need to, um, rewind if there's things that are going too quickly for you. All right, so let's start. Exponent is a 4, so I would draw five lines because I will have five terms. Then I will look on Pascal's triangle. When the exponent is a 4, these are my five numbers. 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. So step one, draw your lines, get your numbers from Pascal's triangle. One thing that I would need you to remember from Algebra 2 is that the square root of x is the same thing as x to the 1 half power. So I'm actually going to rewrite that. Whenever I see a square root for binomial expansion, I'm going to rewrite it as x to the 1 half because that means first power, second root, which that is what a square root is, second root. So now I'm going to handle it just like I did before, but my first term is just a little screwy this time because it's an x to the 1 half power. So I'll do x to the 1 half power, and I will raise it to the fourth power to start. Then I will do x to the 1 half power and raise it to the third, and then the second, and then the first, and then I'm not even going to write it because I'd be raising it to the zero power. Then I'm going to handle the next one, which also is tricky because it's a negative 3. So I'll have no negative 3s here. In this one, I'll have negative 3. What's a negative? I really make sure I use parentheses. Then I'll have negative 3 squared. Then this one will be negative 3 to the third. And then this one will be negative 3 to the fourth. And then I'm going to go about simplifying it. Well, I know you get a little scared with fractions, but I think we're going to be okay because when you multiply two fractions together, um, it's usually pretty easy to just go straight across, and these are going to have two exponents, so we multiply 1 half times 4, or 1 half of 4 is 2. So my first term is just x squared. That's not too bad. My next one, let's see, I'm going to multiply these numbers here together, 4 times negative 3, and I'm going to get negative 12, x. Well, if I multiply 1 half, times 3 over 1, just go straight across, that's 3 halves. My next one, I would use my calculator for this. 6 times an 